Over 900 AI tools have been tested through the entire year. And in this video, I decided to tell you about most interesting AI tools, not ChatGPT and Mejori, but the tools that you probably never heard of. And they are free, at least for now. And no matter where are you from, where are you watching me now, today's video will be worth it of your time. And I'm 100% sure that in this video, you will find the AI tools that you've been looking for. The first AI tool that opens this video will be AI tool that will help you watch any video in any language. And this is not subtitle generation. This AI tool can translate the video and put the voice over on this video in the language that you choose. This AI tool you can install on your computer and that's why it's working with any browser that you use. And it works with the platforms such as YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, X, Bilibili, Vimeo and something hotter. In short, all the most relevant platforms that we usually watch in the videos and learning from. And now you will not have language barrier and it won't stop you of watching, for example, videos Video in Hindi. How does it work? After you install on your computer, you just go to any YouTube video and voila. Google is completely shocking the entire industry and in fact is really making a breakthrough in the development of AI. This video was in Russian, but right now it's in English. This is incredible. My subs from another channel was like super excited about this tool. In the country, if you want to learn the language, you can easily turn it off. You just click turn it off and you can watch the video in original language. Cool. And this is just only first AI tool. The important note will be here that if the video has a bad subtitles, you will have to wait a little bit until the AI tool will translate the video itself and then make a voiceover for you. To keep this video short, you will find the installation in the description down below. I made a document for you how to install. You just need to repeat step by step. Okay, next AI tool called Hopra. You've probably heard about Merlin AI, which is like a Chrome extension and it has ChatGPT in it. It's very convenient because you go to the any website, you open the Merlin, you don't need to go to ChatGPT and you ask questions from current page, for example. But Merlin compared to this new AI tool is her little brother. And I'll tell you why. Hopra combines three AI engines. It's ChatGPT, Bart and Claude, plus web automation. What else it can do, I will read for you. First, you can communicate with the ChatGPT always at your finger preps. You can directly come to any page and open Hopra and ask about any page what this page is about. According to the page, you can ask Hopra to write a post, to write an article, to translate it, to summarize it. It can respond to emails, to tweets, to messages. Okay. If you go to the page, it can extract data from there. It can extract keywords. It can extract prices in the spreadsheet. Any facts. You just go to Hapra, write slash, comment, extract, and you got the data extracted. It also works with the video clips. It can analyze video clips. It can generate. It can break down the hours of clip and write about them to summarize it for you. Automation. It can monitor websites and you can actually tell Hopra constantly monitoring the website and updating prices for you. It can detect prices, reduction, alerts for returns. It can turn website into API, run script to make bots such as make.com, etc. You can track and monitor in different elements. It can export CSV files. It can capture any text elements on the website that you like. Basically, it's just like a mega tool in your extension, always at your finger trips. And with your ChatGPT or Bar the Cloud account, not the random one. So how to install it? You just download it to your Chrome extension. Then you log in within your chatbot whenever you're using. In my case, it was ChatGPT. Next, you choose the language in which language you will write write your queries and such things like what this page about you don't need to learn anything you just can use Hopra directly but if you want to use all the elements that I just told you you will have to spend a little of your time to just go through all the comments see how it works read how it works it's not hard but just definitely spend a little bit time what's important for us down below you will choose the model ChatGPT 3 ChatGPT 4 then page. If you want to talk to the specific page with a chat GPT, then you need to turn this page on. If you just want to talk to chat GPT, not him analyzing the page, then you just turn 
it up. If you don't want to analyze the entire page, you will need to click on this cursor and then choose the area that you want to talk with the ChatGPT about. For example, I don't want to analyze whole YouTube, but I just want him covers, for example, article or maybe titles, video titles, and etc. This AI tool was a really pleasant surprise for me because it helped me right now with everything and I don't need to go to the chat GPT all the time. The next AI tool is the kind of AI collection. This AI program basically runs and install all the difficult programs for you. For example, if you have ever heard about Stable Diffusion, this is the best free image generation on the internet, but installation process is very hard. If you don't have technical background, you need to Google it, you need to know how to extract the files, how to open the files from GitHub and etc. Pinocchio does it for you. You just install Pinocchio, choose the program that you want to install and Pinocchio does everything for you and you just open and use it. It already has more than 46 different programs such like deep fakes, text to video, generate videos, web design, music for voices, for audio, for voice cloning. Basically all the powerful AI tools that we usually use, but we don't use it because it's hard installation to open these zip files. And the huge plus of this program that I found is you don't have to worry about free trials, any restrictions of the programs. In Pinocchio, everything that you see is free to install and free to use. How does it work? So you go to the Pinocchio official website and you download it. After that, if you're installing, for example, on Mac, there is one small nuance that once you drag the Pinocchio into the programs, you will need to open the file called path and enter your Mac password. It will appear that nothing is happening, but actually it's for encryption and Pinocchio just needed for install this program on your computer. On Windows, you don't have to do anything. And after that, you just watch how Pinocchio is installing yourself. You will see how it writes the code, etc. You just observe. After it's done, you will see all the programs that it has inside. And you click on any programs you want to use, for example, Face Fusion, click download and that's it. And you just watch how Pinocchio downloads this program. After that, you need to open. So how it will work? When you click open, it will actually open in your browser, but the program is runs on your computer, the browser you need just for interface. In my case, I choose the face fusion, I choose the enhancer mode, I upload in my video, upload in the photo that I want to put on my face, for example, Scarlett Johansson. I press the start and here is the result. Artificial intelligence will never replace human ingenuity and artifice, on the contrary, not bad. Not bad. Now you. The next AI tool I would think will be the perfect present on the new year or Christmas Eve for your family, friends, boyfriend, girlfriend, wife, husband. And this tool is really cool and it has a really good quality and I think your friends will be very surprised. This AI tool can generate any song about your friend. You just need to write what kind of song you want, details of your friend, for example, name, hobbies, and etc. You write what style and it generates songs for you. For example, this song, my follower from previous channel, was made for me. Listen. Oh, yeah. Let's be honest, right now you will tell me, oh, oh this is AI, AI too. Tool. You can hear about that. But if somebody made it for you and tell you I made it for you, I ordered the group, you will never guess this is AI tool. The work done is really incredible, right? And it's totally free. It's work very simple. You just go to the website, log in with your, your email, then you choose what song to create. You will have five songs for free every day. And if you don't use them, I noticed that you can actually gather them. And for example, you will have 10 songs for tomorrow, etc. The next AI tool, and you probably already heard about from me, very cool AI tool. It has several AI tools in it. And one of the AI tools, you will love it. So 
what this AI tool can do. After you upload in your photo, it can change this photo for you, not the entire photo, but it, for example, can change the face, it can change your emotion, it can change background. So basically you can upload any photo in any background and it generate for you. If you have a brand, if you run a business and you want free models for your product, this AI tool will help you. The developers of this AI tool told that they were creating this AI tool for kind of stock photos changes. I will show you some examples. When you go to the website, register with your email and you choose the tool. In my case, it's stock image transformer. After that, you upload in the photo that you want to change. I uploaded my photo and I want to change the face. I don't want the smile. I want the serious photo. In the prompt, I just write girl sad face and choosing creative mode. And this is the result what I get. It's just perfect result. Right now, girl not smiling. The clothes look better on me. In general, I got the really cool result. It kept everything, but just changed what I wanted to change. But it also often happens to you probably when you like the composition itself, but you don't like the girl, the clothes in it, and what's in the background, but you want to leave the composition. Here, you also can do it. For example, I uploaded this, my photo sitting on the sofa and writing the prompt, girl sitting on the couch, Halloween style. And instead of creative mode, I adjust to very creative. In a very creative mode, it will change everything except the composition itself. And here we see it replaced me, it replaced the wearing, but it keep the composition. Unbelievable. But if I just want to change the face, I choose the low mode and this is what I'm getting. So it just changed the face. It didn't change position, it didn't change clothes. I mean, it changed it a little bit. It's not my clothes, but it looks very similar. The result is pretty amazing. Besides changing photos, you can change the logo, for example. You can upload the logo that you like and just play with the creativity and see this exact logo, but just in a little bit different styles. Or you can upload your chair and you want to see your chair, but just in a different styles. You can get it. It's a tool for designers as well, because it can generate pictures from your drawings, but it works not only for the simple drawings, it also works with the complex drawings. For example, see what it gets when you're uploading the drawing of the house. Amazing, really amazing. This app also has a sticker generation. I know some of you may be looking for, I won't stop for this AI tool, but you can generate stickers as well. For example, is this little car. What about prices? It has a free option and you will have 50 free generations here. After you made a picture, so you can immediately download it. And the prices start from $7. Next title, Playground. You've probably seen on the internet the pictures and when the blogger made one picture, then it made another one, another one, and it just made a 100 pictures itself, a very beautiful and unusual drawing. Well, a lot of pictures were generated in Stable Diffusion, but this AI tool also can do this for you. The registration is very simple. You just go to the Playground, log in with your account, choose Create, and then you will choose Canva or Boards. Boards, if you just want one picture, Canva is, you have like infinite, space for imagination. We choose canvas. And after in a canvas, you select any place that you want to generate, write a prompt, choose the style that you have on the left side. You will have 500 free generations and the old styles will be available for you because you're on a trial mode. And that's all. In my case, I want to see a rabbit in the kitchen. And this is what I got, the one rabbit. Now, if I want to expand this photo, I need to draw the square so it can capture the area of previous picture so it can expand it right. And I leave in the same exact prompt. And now I just continue to expand it a little bit further. And this is what I got, the rabbit family. Next day tool is Genma is the AI tool that generates video from your text. It's very similar to the Picolabs you probably heard of, but instead of the Picolabs, it doesn't work on a Discord, it works on a web browser, which for me is much more convenient, I don't know, for you. There is also another tools in Genma as well. I tested them out and they're very questionable. I don't like them, the result is so-so, but the video generation is good. To generate video is just simple as possible. You just go through your email and you just write the video that you want to generate from. In my case, I want to get a car that drives in a serpentine mountain road and sees the northern lights in the 4K. And this is what I got. 
and I can use it for my social media. If you in the middle of a renovation or you're planning some simply tidy little renovation, but you just don't know what exactly will look good in your room, the next tool is for you. It calls Sofa Brain. In Sofa Brain, you upload the existing photo of your room. You choose the style that you want to change it from. For example, you want to change it to the more modern style. You choose what is this room about. For example, it's a coffee shop or it's your personal room or it's a kitchen. And you see how the AI tool will suggest four different options of your existing room, how you can make a little makeup for it. The only bad thing about Sofa Brain, I don't know if for you it's bad or not, it has only three free generations. But where is the three? There is a 33. And I will tell you how. It's very easy to use. You just go to the website, log in with your email, confirm it. Then you just upload the pictures. You choose the style. You choose what is this room about. For example, I uploaded a kitchen and I want to change it to the modern style. See what I got. It's a really cool design, right? And most important that this design is not really hard. It really suggested me that ideas that I can implement myself like tomorrow. Okay. So after you use three times, it will tell you that, okay, my friend, you used your three free generation. What to do next? I don't know if it's a Google bug, maybe they will fix it and it won't work in the future. But right now what I noticed, when you go to the Sofa Brain, you need to write your email. In my case, it was sentiment. But if you log in second time and you put a dot between S and A or any other place, it looks different email for the Sofa Brain. But I get in the confirmation on my email. So I got one more three times. And you can repeat it as much as you like. Thanks, subscribe, like. There is also another option on Sofa Brain, and there is it calls Roast My Room. What it has is you uploading the photo, and instead of changing everything, it will give you some recommendations. What need to change? For example, you don't want to change everything, but you just want to see their recommendation and just choose it for yourself. For example, uploading the same kitchen and give me some ideas how to upgrade lighting or clear the countertops or remove personal items, <laughs> magnets from the fridge to be cleaner and etc. And then what I like, if you like one of the ideas and you want to know what the AI tool was meant, you just choose any suggestion that you want and it will show you, it will visualize it for you. The next AI tool is for everyone like me who is the web browsing all the times and it has so many open windows in your computer. This AI tool will save everything that you want to save, but helping your browser to breathe a little bit. This app is called Save Day. This is a Chrome extension. And after you just install simple installation, you register with your Google account and that's all. When you go into any website that you want to save, for example, I noticed one interesting AI tool, but I don't want to test it now, I want to test it tomorrow. And instead of not closing it, I just click on the save this link, it save it for me. And if I want a reminder, it also have an option to put the reminder for me. And one more interesting thing, if for example, you forget about that, you forget about that you save this AI tool, when you go to the Google, save day will tell you, oh, my friend, you already saved this AI tool. Don't need to go on this website again, just go in your saving list. Cool? Pretty cool. Save me a lot of times. Right now, I don't have so many windows in my computer and my browser much faster. The next AI tool can do this. Pretty cool, right? All these results, I know a lot of guys are using the stable diffusion, but I found a fake version, like fake version of original one, and it's free to use. It's not that fast, that original one, but it works good. If you want to get results like this, for example, you have YouTube logo or anything like that, what you need to do is you go to the website, you upload the things that you want to keep all the time, but changing the background. And after that, you uploaded the photo that you want, you write the prompt. For example, you want this logo be on the sand or in the water or in the pizza. After that, you choose the string. I noticed that the best result that you have illusion is to choose between 1.3 Three, two, two. If you will make strengths lower than this, then you probably won't see the illusion. If you made up to two, then it will be only illusion and no picture in it. The next AI tool 
I wouldn't say it that it's very useful, but it's fun at least to hear different opinions about your workspace. This AI tool is just fry your desktop. Everything what you need to do, you just to make a photo of your desktop, upload to this AI tool, and this AI tool will analyze it and just will tell you with the jokes who you are what your desktop is telling about you in itself. Just listen what AI will tell about you. That was all for today. I hope you liked this video. I'm sure you like this video because AI tools is really, really great. And I want to say Happy New Year, Happy Christmas, and let's that 2024 will be a great year for you. Listen to yourself, accomplish all your dreams, learn technology, subscribe to this channel, comment this video, and bye-bye.